<laughs> it has to do with both these gentlemen having ghost credits. I'll leave it at that. Uh -oh. Let's talk about who had the better, more legendary credit when it came to these two historical hip hop joints. Was it Kanye's ghost production, all about the Benjamins, where we can verify D Dot talks about this in interviews. He was involved with the production of that record. He brought the sample to the table. And D Dot says he diddied the record for him. You know, sort of like, he gave me that, I made it this. Regardless, some ghost credit. He didn't get no credit for that. Huge record, all about the Benjamins. Or was it, and someone mentioned this record a little earlier, was it Pharrell's appearance as a ghost rider for your man Teddy? Hit you with the one two record. Mm. Rex is in effect, rum shaker. Nah, 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 nah. Shake it like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we have two early hip hop joints that have some early sprinkling from both these guys. Wow. Who had the better? I use my finger airs in the quotes. If, you, if you're listening in the audio side, my finger quotes are the finger in pause. Yeah, air pause. pause. Air pause. Air pause. <laughs> Leave the fingers out of it. Air. <laughs> I got my quotes in there. I got my quotes in the air. I'm quoting. Who had better ghostwriting credit or ghost production credit? Pharrell or Kanye? Who do you got? All about the Benjis versus Rum Shaker, pretty much. The remix for the Benjis? <laughs> the original it's one. Te technically, you know, technically like, e any version of it except for the rock version. What and maybe Hobo? there's a reggae version. I don't know if that one counts either. Hobo's screen froze up. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out it sounds to, to me like he's putting his initial vote down. Vote. Shout, out to, shout out to my man Ty Fife, man. Shout out to my man Ty Fife. This is my vote. This is my vote. It's very easy for me. This is my vote. Hobo says for Pharrell. I don't know. This is a very difficult one. This I think this is the real, this is the toughest one of the night. Yeah. The yeah. first song versus because song situation. God, it gotta be Rum Shaker. Gotta, Triple C so putting the first vote down. Rum Shaker. Because well, actually, the second vote, I hope it was loud and clear. You can't deny when the lady shake. So yeah, rump, rump shaker. As big as a as a big as a record as Benjamin's is, New York wise, hip hop wise. Period. No, the Benjis was a staple instrumental. Yeah, yo, but but rump rump shaker. That's a different time period. That's that's launching everybody's damn their career. You know what I'm saying? Never like, heard from those guys career. again. No, <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about the influence from that record, whether you partied with that record, wanted to make a record sounding something like, to like that. You know what I mean? That's a huge... And we're talking about, if you've never heard anything from those guys again, we're talking about that one record. I think that that was a, that sound was existed, and I think that that sound was a was recreating, because it was already the Freak Nick culture. It was already... Yep. It was yeah. Sam... Right, like so, there that already. Existed. It was early '90s. You're right. The thing I have to think about it when we think about the influence of sound and Pharrell ghost writing, right? And his teenager, young teenager. Right, as a young teenager, the production stamp of a Teddy Riley style is still very much so heard on that record. Versus what D Dot's contribution may or may not have been on the Benjamins. If we if we think of the Diddy style of things. I would conclude that Ye did more work. That's that's where I'm balancing the two in terms of that's the hill you're standing. More work, the part that made the record memorable, mm. that made it hit the way that it hit. Because that Benji's hit so hard, dude. Yeah. yeah that, and so in terms of both of those records hit super hard. I have equal reactions to hear either one of those records from the horns on Rump Shaker to the um, those horns are legendary too, though. Right, yeah. exactly. Those are legendary horns. Uh, when I hear you, that, do you think Jay Z first, or do you think Rum Shaker first? Whenever you hear the horns, I think Rum Rum Shaker. Oh, I think Rum, Sh Rum Shaker first, because I think it's too deep. You don't know. You wouldn't know. What? <laughs> Y'all remember I, I, that? I, I, DJ Scandalous knows. I know he did Scandalous knows. I yeah. hate out this booty shake. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's, 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 that's always gonna win. That's always gonna win. It's the same Yo. way Tiana Taylor song. The same way Fade is now a Tiana Taylor song. That's what yeah. it is. He yeah. said, that's Tina Taylor song. Oh, Fade, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't say anything? Yeah, sure. That's her song. <laughs> Triple C, what is your vote? Are you, are you sticking to Rump Shaker, Triple C? 
Yeah, I'm sticking to my Jacob. Oh my goodness, Triple C. Cool breeze. Oh, he's, you know, he's standing on. <laughs> Before you end up in the breeze, which way would you like to vote on this particular topic? All about the Benjis. I mean, they even named a movie after it. Mm-hmm. Or Rum Shaker. Again, Harlem in the building. I will say Benjis because, well, I like the remix better, a little bit, but both of them were dope. But the remix were big when the beat changes up, and you can still throw that on right now. And I think it'll give more of a, a harder impact than Rum Shaker. You listen to Rum Shaker, but yeah, it's like yeah. the Benji's hits just a little different. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, I think someone pointed out earlier too, it's two different eras, but you're right. I think. Yes, hold on. Yes. yes. <laughs> 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 well, needless to say, I guess that record, right? That, that Rum Shaker record started the domino effect for what's now known as what's the name of that festival that they, that they throw every year? Something in the Water. Something in the Water Festival. There you go. And that all oh, stems okay. from like, that little moment right there. So that's kind of cool. Thank you for your vote there, Breeze. Ike Infamous, it boils down to you, my brother. It looks like when we're talking about the deciding factor on which one of these gentlemen will win the Who Do You Got game tonight, it all comes down to you. Talking about all about the Benjis, ghost production from Kanye and D-Dot taking most of the shine away, versus... Pharrell's involvement as the ghost writer on Uncle Teddy's rap on Rum Shaker. But well, you say he's a ghost writer. He's not a ghost producer then. Well, as so I said, which is more important to you guys? Was it was it his ghost writing or was it Kanye's ghost producing? Like, which, oh, they're both oh, legendary oh, records. Oh, I'm going producing. The, I'm going with Kanye. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd have to, I'd have to go sorry, with Kanye. And, and, whoa, and, whoa, and, whoa, whoa, and, whoa, the votes are changing now. Hold on, what's, what's going on? Okay, so, okay. <laughs> Okay. Look at the look at this trumping going on right here. You talk about Ivy gerrymandering. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Yeah. So real quick. Hobo just got an interception and he tight. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about who had this is exactly what it looks oh, like. That's like, I'm sorry, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like an upset coach. Listen. He looked like an upset coach. <laughs> this is why I said ghost credit. I didn't say production Uh-oh. and I didn't say ghost writing. I said I said ghost credit. Who gets the best ghost credit? Because Kanye had the ghost production on All About the Benjis. So his involvement in All About the Benjis production, or is it about the, I mean, let's be clear. Everybody knows Teddy's verse from, from fucking Rump Shaker. I don't, I mean, I yeah. kind of know the other guy's verses too, but that, that's the verse that we all, I know that's the verse I look forward to. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's the most, almost like important verse from the most important member of that group. Right by Pharrell, a young seventeen-year-old high school student. This I, it, it, so so so. Listen, this is this is my vote. I voted Kanye West. I'm going to vote Pharrell on this round because we're saying ghost credit, and I just think that Rump Shaker just has a longer, way more legendary history than the Benjamins. And I'm not saying the Benjamins doesn't have it, but you know, it's two different eras. You're talking about two different time periods and the, the influence from that rum shaker record for how long I, I, I ghost credit I'd have to say uh bro, but on this one. do you think they gave it that longevity though do you think it's the lyrics that made that song uh, such a standout for so many years no or it- no but, well, but see, video. But that's but see but that's <laughs> but that's just it when you say when you're saying based on ghost credit you're saying credit period right we're talking about a legendary record since the early 90s. When did Benjamin's come out? 90. 97? 90. 90. 97, yeah. like, like years yeah. later. You, you understand what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that that the, the credit to Benjamin's is not something of other otherworldly, but the, the, the credit, the, the credit rump shaker, the, the ghost credit of rump shaker from where it stood, how big of a record was, the influence over everything video-wise, party-wise. If you was up here in New York, and and you're a scrawny little ass like me, and you ain't never been down to no party in VA. And you see that video, you're like, damn, I want to. It's just like Triple C. I want to put my Tim's on and go party around the rump shaking. You know what I mean? So yeah, real, real, real quick. So so does anybody want? Does anybody want to change their vote? I mean, I got Ike's vote down. Does anybody want to change their yeah. vote? Before? Man, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I got you. I got man, you. Man. you. You said for real. You said for real. But Trip, you said you were probably possibly thinking about changing your vote. What, what, what do you what are you leaning towards? Oh man, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, because I I changed me around again. So I'm wow, going. pause. But okay, what do you mean? So so <laughs> uh, Tim Tim's on the beach. Tim, Tim's on the Tim's beach. on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> the rub shaker, Harlem in the building, Harlem in Maine, VA. Also, but you guys, also, those words also, would not have hit if not on that beat. Those also, words would not. Have hit. No, I'm just saying those words would not have hit on that beat. Other words could have hit on that beat. So I respect the influence and participation in a legendary song, but in terms of the participation level, 
Kanye, in my estimation, far supersedes on a on a uh, uh, con contribution level on All About the Benjamins, which was iconic. Again, different zones versus Pharrell's um, one two check is in effect. And I'm the wrecker. There could have been a chorus, million and the chorus and the chorus. Yeah. We don't we don't know about the chorus. Absolutely. And yeah, and, and and DJ Scandalous brings up a very good point in the chat. Pharrell got plaques for that song. Kanye got nothing. Oof. But so, does, so does the do? get credit for it? I mean, and whether you get credit for it or not, does it takes away from the talent of it? Because that, if that's the case, there's well, a lot. We're, of we're not here to designate how, how that credit got distributed. Yeah. I would, yeah. I would, I would. We just happen to have the knowledge that this is what it would now. You I, know would, what I would rebut that with, it is proven fact that Pharrell contributed to Rump Shaker. It is conjecture and hearsay that Kanye contributed to. Hey, hey, oh, D-Dot D D has admitted it. D-Dot admitted it. <laughs> I, I think there's, there's a whole, there's a whole, there's a whole thing about him that kind of confessed. But he, again, he's, he he makes Kanye's. Uh, Did he confess to Vlad? Did he confess to to Vlad TV? <laughs> you know, it might have been. I guess I can't. I can't remember what it was on. No, that don't count. Don't count. Vlad Why don't count? And Vlad TV is the feds, and he knows how to get answers out of people. Yeah, absolutely. If you know hey, anything, man, hey, you know what he Hobo about. Hobo Matlock, Hobo Matlock won. Oh, his, shit. Uh, his argument. Listen, we got we got to wrap we got to wrap things up here. So, luckily, like I said, we had we had a, a little tie breaking question. Like I said, because it went the full round tonight, even longer than we expected. Thank you for sticking around with us tonight. Everybody in the chat room, thanks for hanging out. Philly the kid, DJ Scandalous. Uh, Black Moses, if I miss oh, anybody else, good looking. Malcontent in there. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. We're going to wrap things up here. When we decided to talk about ghost credit, whose is more important? We decided to put up Kanye's ghost production in the All About the Benjamins saga. If you know, you know. Go ahead and do your Googles. And we decided to put it up against uh, Pharrell's 16 bar, ready for the one two checker. Again, 17 year old dropping a verse for, for Teddy over on, uh, on, on Rex and Effect. The room has given this vote. Keep in mind, whoever wins this round 